the foot. Okay, we're talking about the subtalar joint today. Now, I had the pleasure last week of meeting uh, orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Kumar Singham, down in South London. Now, if you haven't checked out his uh, Instagram, I'll put the link up. Geezer's like a knowledge bomb of foot anatomy. Really interesting guy. And we were talking about the importance of looking at the foot and its biomechanics in regards to us as sort of physical therapists. Now, the foot is quite a complex structure. So if you think about sort of the, the, the moving cycle, the gait cycle, the windlass mechanism, it has to go from sort of being completely rigid, bang, to being completely flexible. Um, it's a bit of a paradox. The, 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 the ankle's triplanar, so you've got a plantar flexion, dorsal flexion, inversion, eversion, abduction, adduction. And interestingly, you can get dysfunction down here in the foot and it can have a big ripple effect higher up into the knees, the hips, the back. So it's always worth looking at the foot as part of your sort of differential diagnosis in your examination. Because let's be fair, the knee and the hip could be a symptom of something else and that could be foot dysfunction. So it's always worth having a little look at that. Um, you have, oh, let me think, uh, 26 bones in the foot, 28 if you add in the sesamoids, 33 joints. You have um, uh, around about 10,000 steps a day is an average. Um, and ooh, you've got hundreds of muscles and ligaments acting on the foot. Actually, I've got lots of little things written on here to try and remind me. Um, the fibula is non-load bearing, uh, all this sort of jazz. Interesting stuff. Now, one of the most underrated joints is the subtalar joint, okay, where the sort of the talus meets the calcaneum or the talocalcaneal joint. Um, it's sort of forgotten about. Most people tend to sort of look sort of navicular, cuboid, at the more sort of Gucci joints. Um, but the subtalar is, is pretty freaking important. It's the go-to guy for inversion, eversion. Um, has nothing to do with, uh, with plantar flexion or dorsal flexion. But it's a really important joint in regards to sort of stabilizing the foot as we move, okay? It sort of stabilizes it sort of laterally as we take steps. Um, Listen, without the subtalar joint, you're going to have a real issue walking, you're going to have a real issue running, um, and you're going to have a real problem if there is dysfunction here to have any form of precision movement. It's a really important joint. Um, it's got three facets. It's got an anterior, a lateral, and a posterior facet. Um, it is a gliding joint. So it's a synovial gliding joint. Um, and you can do some really, really Gucci techniques uh, on this joint because it really is vital for movement, okay? Uh, we can do mobilization uh, and articulation techniques to this 